hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to create a power apps application right so for that what i have to do is first i have to go to make.powerapps.com and then what i will do is i will go to create and from here i will click on blank app and from here i can choose three templates right so first one is blank canvas app canvas app is something where you will have full control on ui then we have blank app based on data words data words is you know kind of data source where you can store all your business related data and then we have power pages website so first what are we are going to do is we are going to work with uh, the blank canvas app I will click on create and when you choose this then you have option to uh, select the format whether it will be a tablet or it will be a phone so you can create application for your phone as well and also you can create it for the tablet so I'll keep it tablet for now and then I will specify the name of the application so let's say I will name it as user management. I will name it as user management and then click on create. It will take some time and then it will load the designer for me where I can specify the design. I can specify the controls, you know, that will be part of my application. And once you are done with it, you will see that you have a screen created, right? Where you can add your components, your controls. And uh, if you want to add a screen, you can just go ahead and add the screen. So whatever screen you want to add, you can just select it. And that screen will be added. And then you can right click or just click on three dots to rename it. You can delete the screen. You can duplicate the screen right so for now i will just delete it so here it gives me that okay add an item from the insert pane or connect to the data so if you say connect to data then you'll have to specify the data source and if you want to add an item so the moment you click on it you will get all the you know components that you can add to your screen so what i will do is i will take the text label I'll just drag it and drop it in this screen and here you can see that you know all the properties related to this uh, to this uh, label control is available on the right side of the of this designer so if you want to set some default text for this label you can set it so let's say I will say user name and then I'll just move it a little bit to the you know to the left top and here I can specify the font size I can specify the font type right here I can specify the font weight so whether it will be bold semi bold normal or lighter so I'll just keep it the normal one here I can also set the text alignment so there is a you know functionality the moment you click on these properties so the related properties from here it will be selected right italic line height and all that so let's say if I want to set the text alignment so the moment I click on it the align property is selected here right so this way you will know that okay so what you want to oh, what property you want to set for this control right so if i choose color so here you will see the color if you choose the border so it will give you the border style you know and um, focused border so it will give you focused border thickness you know these properties wrap if you click on wrap so it will the property will be selected 
in this drop down as well so i have this one label where the name is username i will take another property which is sorry another control and i will name it as password for this also the the font is going to be light to black and from here i will pull the text input so this is your text input i'll pull the another one which is text input 2 and now if i go to the pane here you can see that these controls are available under this screen right so if i want to rename it so i can press f2 to rename it or also i can you know click on these three dots and then go to rename so i will just press f2 and this one also i will name it as lbl password this one i can set as txt username the moment you select the control from this tree view you know that particular control is also highlighted in the designer right and here i will also set it as txt password okay so there is some default text i can remove it if i want so i can just clear the default text because i do not want that to be you know to be there but if you want to give some hint text you can specify this hint text here so for example if you want to say username right so you can say that it is username so hint text is a property that will be you know that is kind of placeholder uh, and that will be appearing inside that control so here i can time as password okay so this is the setting that we have done now and now what i can do is i can also drag a button right so i have a button control here and then i can rename this as let's say login so i have these of oh, you know two label control i have two text control i have and the last one which i have is button control where i can you know click okay so now let's see if i want to show the values whatever you are going to enter in these text fields on this page right so let's take one level and set the text property of this as txt username dot text so whatever you are going to enter here is going to be present in this control right so if i press the alt key and type the value here or let me just click on play button and if i am going to type that mark so this is what it is going to show me right in the same way if i you know set the text property of this control as you know txt instead of txt username if i set it as txt password then it is going to show me the value whatever i'm going to type in the in that txt password field 
consider that because this is a password text field right and if you do not want uh, if your user is going to type the password you do not want this to be visible right so in that case what you can do is there is a property for the text field is mode where you can specify whether this is going to be a single line text or a multi-line text or it is going to be a password so i can choose the password here the moment i choose password you can see that whatever value i had typed inside this no text field that is hidden now right okay now if i want to you know go to the next screen after typing the specified value in these two text fields so for that what i will have to do is i will have to add a new screen i'll add a new screen here and i'll name it as welcome and then i'll go back to the screen one and here i will So there is a on select property of the button control, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that if txt username is equals to mark and if txt password dot text dot text property of txt username is equals to one two three four then what i want to do is i want to navigate to a screen welcome and the screen transition there is another property you know there is another parameter in navigate function which it will accept which is screen transition so i'll just say that screen transition dot cover right and along with it i can also pass the third parameter which will be a variable right so for that i can say that user and that will be the txt username dot text right so this is the variable which is going to be available you know on the welcome screen i will click outside and then i will go to the welcome screen and here i will add one level control and i will set the value of this one as user now i will play this application where i will type mark and the password will be one two three four and then i will click on login so when i when i will click on login it will take me to the welcome application sorry welcome screen where it will show me the name of the user so i will click on login and here you can see that the name of the user is present here right so this is how you can you know create your application in palm ramps you can create a login window with the help of the control that it has
provided and also you can set the properties for those controls right so in this video we have learned how to create the application how we can modify the properties and how we can you know uh, how we can use the navigate function and how we can pass the data from one screen to another screen right if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day